Chico, you're in the way, bro. You're in the way, dog. Trying to get three grand, uh, three likes on Instagram right here. All right, man, we back. Mercy Sports Talk, we're in the building. I want to talk a little bit more extensively on Derrick Rose trade with uh, Dennis Rodman. If they traded Rose a little bit earlier or been more, more premature on it, would they got a better grade? And I'm going to just talk about Dennis Smith towards the end, man. But uh, I'm going to see if I can get Dennis Smith on because I know somebody that know him. All right, I'm going to see if he can come on and talk. But uh, with Derrick Rose, check out Detroit Piston Talk playlist, by the way. With Derrick Rose, um... Just from a personal standpoint for him, this makes no sense. Honestly, man. I want to see Rose go to the Lakers, go to the Clippers, even the Brooklyn Nets. If they had a second to offer and maybe you know, one of the younger players like Shaman on their bench, he need to go somewhere like Boston where he can progress to a championship, Philadelphia, Milwaukee, right close to Chicago. My memory serves me correctly. That's what I want to see for Derrick Rose. Even if we didn't get nothing like this deal, I would like to see that for him, you know, to be able to be on the playoff stage. Because let's be honest, I was right about Derrick Rose when he came here. He wasn't coming here to be the Messiah like Grant or Isaiah Thomas, or he wasn't the, the moves of Rip Hamilton drafting Tayshaun Prince, trading for Sheet Wallace, trading for Ben Wallace, bringing in Chauncey Billups. He's not that. I told y'all. He one of them dudes that can give you a burst for a short second. Oh, he did this in Minnesota last year. His body is not equipped to be the main guy no more. And a lot of his fanboys, they just can't fathom that. He's no longer that guy. And that's okay because uh, Warren Harper had to make that adjustment. It's a lot of players that got injured and they had to um, they had to become something else. Or maybe, you know, whatever they did in the league, they it didn't fit. So they became a 3 and D guy. It's a lot of guys. I mean, I remember... Watching all the smoke, I can't. I think it was Rip Hamilton, and he said at one point uh, they ranked Tim. Uh, I had his head, his name. Uh, I had his name in my in my head. Tim Thomas, I think he was. They ranked him above Kobe in high school, and Kobe wanted to prove him wrong, you know. And I'll guarantee you, the guy that Tim Thomas was in high school, you know, he probably was dominant. He wasn't that guy in the in the league. He had to make an adjustment. Kendra Perkins, go look up his high school number. Thirty plus points a game. 12 plus rebounds a game, like 10 blocks a game. He was a monster in, in high school. You know, a lot of people don't know he was an adopted. So, all my people out there that's adopted, uh, uh, you know, obsessed with finding their parents, whatever, look at Kendrick Perkins. You know, I think he was born in Port Arthur, too, and had to move to Beaumont for, with his foster, foster parents. He turned out pretty good, but with Derrick Rose, he wasn't that. You know, and he was forced to play more minutes last year because of Luke Kennard and. Reggie Jackson, a lot of them dudes was injured. The trade of Blake, I mean, the injury of Blake Griffin that came from the previous year. Andre Drummond getting traded, so he had to make that adjustment. But he one of them dudes that's going to have to change his game like a Ryan Harper. You know, he one of them dudes that's going to say Antonio McDyess is another. At one point, McDyess is one of the five best players in the league. He had to change his game. Either it was going to be even for better or is he going to be out the league. And Derrick Rose ain't never changed his game. He's still going to the to the rim, you know, recklessly. And, you know, that's his game, and I get it. But he's never changed his game. Derrick Rose should be a knockdown three-point shooter. Ron Harper did, you know, basically did it. You know, that's what he should be. You know, in his driving and, you know, his agility, that should be secondary. Derrick Rose should have been himself from being a Pax and a Kerr. You know, and it would be a plus if he can blow by guys, Ron Harper. A guy that can sit there and, and knock down shots. But he ain't made the adjustments. And um, right now, he'd be a great guy to come off the bench for a championship caliber team. Instant offense. You know, probably treat him like a a, a, a starting pitcher. What they pitch in once every three to five days. Three to four days. You do like that. You know, he played once every few games. You know, if you play him two days in a row, two games in a row. So, like, when the playoffs come, you want the best Derrick Rose. Because Derrick Rose can give Brian a boost. He can bring, he can get Kawhi and Paul a boost. He can get Boston a boost. He can get Milwaukee a boost, and for a, he can win you a, a playoff game. Playing next to Giannis and you and Mike Budenholzer get Derrick Rose cut into the bucket, but him in New York, that ain't it. That ain't it, kid. That ain't it. But um, you know Dennis Smith Jr. People saying, well, you know he the next Reggie 
Reggie Jackson. But people forget, like, before Luka got there, he was that digger. Other than injuries, he been having knee problems since high school in North Carolina. But when before Luka got there, he was the phenom. And I seen somebody posted that the Knicks did a slam dunk contest between him and Obi Toppins. And his first dunk was, boy, oh, I wish I could find it. His first dunk was like, Jesus. I think he bounced it off the floor. His head and his damn near his chest was over the rim. And he cocked it back. So the athleticism is there. The question is, was it the Knicks? Was it his attitude that came off the floor? But the athleticism is still there. You know, people say, well, you know, he ain't, he ain't a classic point guard. Neither is Steph, neither is Damian Lillard. You know what I'm saying? It's only a handful of classical point guards that that's still in the league. Uh, uh, Chris Paul, um, Ben Simmons. I know it's a, it's some more. I'm, I'm just forgetting. It's one more. Rajah Rondo. The new point guard is doing what Trey Young doing, just jacking that hole up and shooting it like Steph Curry. But his athleticism, it's still there. You know, my fear is Dwayne Casey is not going to be able to do for him what Larry Brown did for Chauncey. You know, Dwayne Casey, a terrible coach. I've been telling you all that. That's my only thing. Can can he can he get him to play the right way? Can he get him to to make guys better and pick and choose when he scores? And that's what Chauncey that's what Chauncey learned from Larry. You know, how to apply pressure, playing the right way. How to apply pressure, scoring the ball. How to apply pressure, facilitating. Dennis Smith Jr. got everything. You know, the question is, can he tap into it? Can he stay healthy? But definitely worth the top 10 pick. Worthy, worth, definitely worth it, worthy of this trade. His potential. Everybody talking about, well, you know, he ain't here to replace Killian Hayes, but he bringing something Hayes ain't bringing to the table. That's athleticism. That's explosiveness. And I don't know where his confidence, confidence is at, but when he at his best, he confident. You know, he's an explosive guard, and just question is, can they get him to put it all together? That's the million-dollar question. Can he put it all together? You know, but I think he definitely was a, a good risk. And one thing I like about this trade is that you see a Detroit team taking a chance on a player. And usually that don't that don't happen. They don't take chances like this. They usually take chances on injury prime players or guys drafted in the draft. But he still got it. When I seen him dunk, I said, yeah, he's still athletic. You know, you know, the question is, you know, can can they make him a complete player? Can he still be an all-star superstar? Yeah, I think he could still be an all-star superstar type of player. But my only issue with him is point guard skills. But if you don't have point guard skills, now you gotta hope that du Dubonye is able to facilitate. Because you could put him next to Scotty, right next to a Grand Hill. That's gonna work, you know. But can he can he develop as a point guard? You know, can you teach him how to make guys better? How to and that's what Billy Donovan in Chicago trying to do with Kobe White. He got all that raw ability, but if he don't get it, he gonna be like Ben Gordon coming off the bench of Chicago. Same thing for Dennis Smith Jr. If he ain't gonna learn how to play point guard, he better be Damian Lillard and Steph Curry. He better be that type of player. If he not, he gonna have to be come off the bench and be explosive. But somebody said, should we have traded Derrick Rose last year? And the question was, yeah. You would have got more for him. You could have got Dan Smith Jr. for a Klondike bar. You could have got him for nothing. But if he come in here and, and he do what he supposed to do, you know, Killian might get traded or he might be moving to the two. Because player for Peller, player, Kyle Lahr, I mean Kyle Lahr, he looked like Kyle Lahr a little bit. He... Dennis Smith Jr. a better player than Killian Hayes right now. But I still like the value we got in this trade. I think Dennis can can be a fantastic player. I think Dennis could still be that guy. I'm, I'm banking on wood. Knocking on wood. That he still can do it. When I seen him dunk in, that, in the con dunk contest when he was in the Knicks, with the Knicks a couple days ago, weeks ago, with Julius Randle, I think he's going to be a problem. So let me know what you guys think. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out if you have a business question, require response, or video requests. All my social media links description. Twitter's the fast way than Facebook and Instagram. We got Detroit Piston Talk playlist for more videos like this. 
Um, check my other channel out, Goodfellas Sports TV, right here on YouTube. If you want to make a financial donation, Cash App, CJ Good 313 that's in the description. PayPal link there as well, too. Best way to donate, share, share the video one time for the one time. Mercy Sports Talk, we gone.